what is that? It's some kind of new van. Wow, that's pretty imposing. Looks very expensive too. Looks like an armored vehicle for Christ's sake. You said it, it looked imposing? Looks terribly imposing. It looks like something you'd see in the middle of an, a war. It looks like something that would be in Afghanistan or Iraq, not on the streets of Victoria. This stuff is becoming much too much militaristic and sort of more of a war than a, just a, 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 an issue. It's become a war. And the vehicles that are part of this are more like war vehicles than they are policing vehicles. You know, it, it, this is crazy. Yeah. These people don't have weapons. Why do we need that kind of shit? Well, should we go on to the next stop? See who we can find? Let's do it. Or what? <laughs> Carol did this for years in a van on her own. Um, did like a needle exchange. Do you remember when you did that needle exchange? When I did it? Remember on Sundays or something? I did it every Wednesday and Sunday. For how many years? Four. Four years. What years did you do that? What years do you remember? <coughs> oh, God, I can't remember. Wasn't Until there... about 2007. Didn't the NDP help you out there, Carol? Nobody helped out. I footed the gas bill and cigarette bill and food bill out of my own fucking pocket. Okay. Drove my van into the ground. When it died, my kids took it away from me. <laughs> Your kids love you. It's very cool. Well, there's a lot of disrespect from a lot of people in the community. We used to do the deal exchange right across the street out of respect for our place. I thought that was always I pretty cool. I did it cool. across the street very quietly. I did yeah. it during school hours, not during recess or lunch. There's that armored vehicle again. I don't get it. It kind of, I guess, it does look like that, doesn't it? It looks like something that would be in a third world country fighting a war. Something out of desert fucking storm. He's either eating an apple or talking into the handheld. You got a good eye. I haven't seen it. Oh, I see. Yeah. I can see something in his hand. That's all. Here yeah. come the fuzz, here come the fuzz. See, it's like an armored vehicle. What's near this, here? This is Brimside Gorge area. And there's housing, we just subsidized housing, we just drove by? Yeah, that was the CRD subsidized housing. It's really nice. Nice. And it's on now. This one here, yep. a lot of people stay there on a monthly basis. Um, it's not that it, it's, they will rent by the month, but it takes almost a full welfare check to rent there. The rent is 700 and some odd dollars. Isn't that everywhere though, mostly? Well, and they charge more when there's two people in there. So if you're paying $700 for a single, you're paying $900 for two. And people don't have that. Awesome. There are, are a couple of good places along here, you should note. <laughs> and the one is coming up, which is the waterway. It's run by Pacifica Housing. That's specialty support housing. It was a hotel. It where is it? Right on the corner where that white sign is. Okay, thank you. This brown building here. That is now all subsidized housing run by Pacifica. Rent is roughly 500 a month, but it includes your lights, your cable, and your telephone. <laughs> Which is pretty good. The rest of this work at housing stuff is like six and a quarter for a bachelor. So where are we driving right okay, now? Okay, we're driving down to here where you see the blank sign. Okay. The 
Okay, it's blank yeah. signage. This building here was bought out by the city of Victoria and will be turned into um, subsidized housing. This particular place, which I believe has something like 60 units right now, and a bit across there as well. This is all going to be converted. This will become housing for First Nations uh, single mothers and children. They will be taking the current units and uh, revamping them all and making 30 units here. It's a very nice location right by a bus stop. You know, it's pretty nice. Uh, I think it's about eight blocks to school for the kids. Not too bad at all. The only problem is it's been vacant for some time and it strikes me that it could be open until such time as they actually go to renovate it. Why do they need to have it closed for four fucking months? To me, that part of the logic I don't get. So that's going to be really nice. The travelers, the old travelers the city bought. So now we're heading back into Victoria. Along heading the, back into Victoria. Along the gorge. Cedar Grove is another one that's run over this here. That is run, I believe, through. Um, uh, da, 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 people who run the Pandora project. I've gone blank. I guess I really need turkey dinner. <laughs> So oh, yeah. anyway, the group that runs the Pandora Project, they run that. These are all considered to be supportive housing units. Hey, Carol, aren't we going by the Kool-Aid new building they built somewhere near here? Yeah, we will. Yeah. Here's another one over here, Meadowin. Meadowin. Meadowin Apartments. I used to do a needle exchange in there, and they were really cool. Just, you know, I'd pull up. I had a certain amount of people. They'd meet me. Staff would see me bringing in rigs and and condoms and water and and taking them away and um, they were very respectful to people there's a couple more apartments like that downtown where they don't lose their their cookies when they see this going on This is sort of the indust light industrial district of Victoria. And uh, this is also a place where a lot of the sex trade workers are. Okay. Interestingly enough, it's called John Street. Uh, you know, there's got to be some kind of a, an anomaly going on there, so, you know. I used to do needle exchange all along here as well on Saturday, Wednesday afternoons and Sunday and Christmas Day. Hmm. Hard to believe that girls would be working on Christmas Day, mm. but they were. And it struck me better to be safe than sorry on uh, getting them what they needed in order to remain safe. So let's go. Keep going this way for a bit. Another one of those trucks. Hey, let's go down John Street. I love the name. <laughs> Just seems to fit with an area that has sex trade workers to the level. John Howard has their society down in here. They're pretty good at helping guys out, people out who've got uh, records, helping with criminal pardons, that kind of stuff. A lot of police out on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Now, what street is this new building on? There it is, up there. Let's go that way. Another police car. Whoa. Two police cars. 
whoa, I think we found an impound lot. All right, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Fabulous mural down there. Yeah, beautiful. It's a nice art. Sorry, everybody, about the bang bang. So this is the new housing. Oh, really? What kind of housing? This this is um the new Street Link place. Ah, cool. Slow down. Right on. It looks very um very jail-like, doesn't it? Hmm. I mean, if you look at the top part, it's kind of... Can you just pull... We're at the, the new Ellis Street, uh, Street Lake uh, housing. Now, it, it, I don't like the structure of it. I think it looks like a jail, but you know what the hell. It's, it's warm, it's dry, it'll be good. The only problem, these are transitional housing. These do not come under the Residential Tenancy Act. So people can be evicted very quickly and have no recourse except for relying on the kindness of the discretion of the people who run the place. It, it has become a problem for some people in some of the other units, and as Advocates at Action Committee, we're not able to adequately defend people because we can't take it to the residential tenancy branch. Hmm. There are a number of places with this exemption. The new Traveler's Lodges will be under that, Waterways is under that. Are you talking about subsidized housing exemptions? No, it's an no. exemption from being under the Residential Tenancy Act because they are considered to be transitional housing. Well, supposedly the subsidized housing is under the same threat right now. That's what I heard. No, they can't do it with the, the ordinary subsidized housing. They can only do it with housing that they, they built they build to become transitional housing. Okay, well, let's find out because we just, uh, we'll find out. Hang on. 